<laughs> hey, so we are out today. Uh, it doesn't look like we're running. We're not. Yep. <laughs> but we're out right now uh, with uh, Coach Millie. And then we're going to come back out. So stick around. We'll tell you all about it. Hey, well, so here we are. Uh, We're our... calling a walk run today, but it's all walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Our scheduled uh, eight miles today is going to be postponed. It got shortened to a three-mile run, and then to a to a we'll run as much as we can. To a, we're just going to go walk for a little bit. A uh, fast-paced walk, uh, faster than normal. Yes. So not necessarily fast, just faster than we usually do. <laughs> so. <laughs> fast walkers yeah we're, yeah we're, we're pretty good it's a good clip yeah yeah we're pretty good almost as fast as we are slow right whatever it's pretty close to our <laughs> running pace we'll put it that way <laughs> so one of the reasons is uh my knee is not uh, doing well uh, i still think i'm yesterday i felt pretty good uh but this morning i didn't so i think it's getting better just need to like not push it yeah. so disappointingly no run today uh, but still, you know, I think it'll be all right. I, I think He's it'll calling be all right. the doctor on Wednesday if it doesn't feel better. Yeah, no, that's just one week, right? No, that'll be two weeks. Oh. Yeah, you should be feeling better by now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's that, which means they're probably going to send me in for imaging, see what's going on. It felt really good yesterday. So I think maybe I just need to rest. But anyway, the, uh, this morning, when we took Coach Millie for a walk, uh, it was 46 degrees. Right now it's like... Yeah, it's like lower 50s, it's warming up some. Yeah, it doesn't feel too bad. Yeah. But again, just didn't kind of want to push it too hard. We have that half marathon coming and we do want to eat all the ice cream we possibly yeah, can. Yeah, we actually do want to run that. So our, our training is being adjusted. Well, it's in the air, so... It will uh, continue to adjust as uh, his knee seems fit. And I figured, absolute worst case scenario, we finish a little bit later than we would if we were running it, and we just walk as fast as we can the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, worst case scenario. And then we get to eat ice cream because we still burn 13 miles worth of calories. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it'll be all right. Yeah. Um, but we're still... Uh, doing our best to, you know, do our uh, strength workouts and our flexibility stuff, you know, it, it kind of, uh, kind of fell off a little bit, but we're still, well, we're still no, doing we didn't fall off. We took a break because what we were doing was agitating your knee. Yeah, right. So we're still perfectly on track. Look at all those thorns on that thing. Isn't that crazy? Um, but nature. Yeah. Um, Here, let me show you. Hold on. <laughs> So, yeah, we're still, still doing on, it. We're still on track. We're just being mindful of yeah. agitated body parts. It's a Darn good band it. name. You should write that Ooh, down. that is a good band name. Agitated body parts. <laughs> I like it. Uh, so here we are. Just walking around some trails. Uh, in, uh, you know, close to our neighborhood. Uh, also, we got a, a request. Hold on. Give me just a second. We, we got a request uh, for a recipe for our uh, oatmeal, peanut butter, raisin, uh, the way we make them, honey balls. But uh, somebody, uh, and thanks for asking, a viewer who's vegan wanted to know if we could supply that recipe. And so we uh, made it today, and we made it using maple syrup. So Vegan friendly. It's vegan friendly. And, uh, you know, if 
if you're interested in making them, they're really good. We really like them. Yeah. And they pack well and they uh, run with us well. And they energize us well. Um, and it's not weird synthetic stuff. Yeah. I can never make myself even try the goo. I know a lot of people are into it, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna yeah. do it. Watch this branches. Oh, look at the cardinals. So we're gonna we're gonna hoof it uh, back. Yeah, we need to pick it up. We're kind of slowing down. And uh, we'll have a uh, a quick overview. And uh, hey, stay tuned. <laughs> hey, hey! So there you have it. That's what we did today in yeah. terms of getting out. I was actually kind of wobbly legged by the time we got back. So it's we did something. Uh, it's not like we took it totally easy. We yeah. actually. Yeah. We we were booking it. Yeah. And um, yeah. I held this back. So again. Uh, no, his words, not mine. No, I my, my mm -hmm. knee my knee just isn't feeling right. So uh, you know, going up an incline, you know, straightening out my leg, the backside of my knee uh, does not feel right. So I'm hoping it gets better. If not, uh, I'm gonna have imaging, like I said before. Anyway, you know, it's just hey, it's what happens, right? You know, we're, we're, we push our bodies and sometimes our body says, whoa, whoa, hey, 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 take it easy there. So anyway, that's what's going on. Um, and, uh, and and then you wanted to cover uh, something that we were asked. And yeah. that's the recipe for our oatmeal bowls. Yeah, so we, we have mentioned, alluded to, talked about, eaten on camera our oatmeal balls mm -hmm. frequently. Uh, so I think we may have like mentioned in the past, like, briefly how we make them but here's how we actually make them so we start off we have um what is it one two three four ingredients right so we have quick oats um and if you have just regular oatmeal you can use regular oatmeal we did for a long time because we buy tons of regular oatmeal from costco in large quantities so we uh we did that for a long time but we found that quick oats um uh, because they're kind of like you know, process down a little bit. They're just like easier to eat. You know, they don't get as stuck in your teeth and whatever. So quick oats, peanut butter, um, raisins, and um, we normally use honey, but the person who reached out to us and asked uh, specifically said they were vegan. So we went ahead and swapped out maple syrup this time for the honey. Everything worked fine. So you can, it's basically like some kind of sticky sweetener. So I imagine um, agave nectar would work just as well, but we haven't tried that. But we can confirm that honey and uh, maple syrup both work really well in this recipe. So to make a batch of these, you start with a cup of quick oats. Um, and we actually have found that if you kind of like blend them a little bit, like blitz it, uh, to, like chop them up a little bit more, even though they are, like I said, processed down a little bit more, um, that extra little like chopping up just makes them like easier for us to eat when we're out on a long run. Uh, so we, we blitz them up in our little, one of our little like food processor things. Okay. So a cup of oats, you add to that, um, half a cup of raisins. I have found that golden raisins taste really, 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 really good. in this recipe today, we happen to not have enough golden raisins to do the whole thing. So we did like half golden, half regular raisins. Um, but you know, half a cup of raisins is what you use there. Uh, a quarter cup of peanut butter and then a quarter cup of that sweetener. So in the past it's been honey, today it was maple syrup. Um, and then you just mix it up, you just kind of take your spoon and you mix it around and it takes a little bit to get that big clump of peanut butter kind of mixed around into all the oats. But then you end up with like this kind of like, you know, uh, like mealy kind of sticky, you know, grainy mix. Okay, and now the, the trick to actually getting this like weird concoction into balls is to wet your hands. And this has taken me how long have we been making this recipe? I don't know, a couple maybe, of years. Like a year, year and a half, maybe two years. It's taken me that long. It was like the last batch we made before the marathon that I was like, you know what I should do is get a bowl of water. <laughs> so here's what you do. You have to wet your hands. So like to form the balls, you need wet hands and that keeps all the, the gunk from sticking to you. But I think it also does maybe something with the oatmeal to make it like kind of gloop together mm -hmm. into a little ball. Um, so what I would normally do is like, okay, I'm working over here on the island and then I'm gonna get my hands this wet and then I make like four of these little balls and then, oh, I need to re-wet my hands. So I go back to the sink, get peanut butter and honey and stuff all over the place. <laughs> Here's a better idea. Just get a little tiny bowl of water and just kind of dip your hands in it. So 
trial and error, I, uh, over a year of trial and error. Okay. I finally figured out to just put a bowl of water. Yeah. And then, so you wet your hands and then you form these balls, kind of roll them up, put them in a little container, uh, work through the whole batch. We always end up with like, we're going to go count how many we have and insert it right here. 12? Yeah, it's usually around 12. I don't know. It depends on the size. You know, they're, they're slightly smaller than a golf ball. Uh, they're a lot smaller than a golf ball. You know, they're but, like a tablespoon. Yeah, you know, we get about 12. Yeah. And we split those up. They're delicious, by the way. They, they really they're are They're very delicious. good. Yeah. So you roll them up, and then you, I mean, we ate a couple mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh, But if you put them in the fridge, then they really kind of set up. And then that allows us to put them in our Ziploc baggies and take them on our Yeah, rides. just just chill them for a while, and, and they'll, they'll, they maintain their shape. Uh, and they're great. You know, we put them in uh, little Ziploc bags mm -hmm. and we, uh, you know, we take them on runs yeah. and, you know, just they're pop good. them in. They're really like, good. Yeah. And, you know, we were talking today, to too. You don't have to use raisins. You could use dates. You could use... Uh, we should try with dates because yeah. dates are delicious. You know, I mean, any kind of, yeah. uh, uh, I mean, whatever. I, I, I yeah. suppose if you really wanted to, you could even use candy fruit of, you know, any mm -hmm. kind of apple I'm sure, I'm sure you could whatever. use any other, whatever, like, dried yeah. fruit. We just, mm -hmm. we haven't. Golden raisins are really good. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, there you have it. Uh, yeah. They're, they're really easy. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very good. Uh, easy to digest, too. Mm -hmm. uh, so there it is. Um, thanks for asking. You know, we really love hearing from you. So uh, you have questions, uh, you know, let us know. Uh, we'll... We're always looking for content to cover in these videos. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. please give us an idea yeah. of what to talk about next week. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, and, you know, thank you, subscribers, for, for tuning in. Uh, thank you for, uh, uh, you know, staying in touch with us. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. Uh, you know, hit like if you like it and notification button will let you know as soon as we upload because we are doing our best. Even when one of us isn't feeling our best to upload. Look at us. We didn't even go running today. <laughs> yeah. And we're still yeah. loading a running video. Yeah. Uh, we are getting closer to the half marathon at uh, Bluebell. Yeah. Uh, and we we found out, this was news to us, Bluebell is sold almost like like many states so like southwest and and uh, along the south and even in florida yeah it's a texas company so yeah. we just assumed it was here and i think for most of our youths yeah it was just here so yeah. at some point in the last several decades they have expanded yeah. Uh, and apparently they are, uh, it is distributed yeah. along the whole Southern United States. Yeah. Who knew? So if you I see it just and Texas you're curious, city. uh, you know, buy a little, uh, yeah. a little pint and, uh, try it out. We almost bought some today, but. We bought lottery tickets instead. <laughs> yeah. Big money. Big money, no yeah. winning. Let's yeah. do this. Yeah, all right. Oh, gosh, you guys anyway. are going to retire. All right. <laughs> so, so here's hoping that uh you know uh i i continue to get better one way or another we are going to complete that half marathon at the bluebell creamery if we have to speed walk it then we'll speed walk it but we're gonna do it yeah. uh just hopefully uh it's a uh, running uh and then lastly just a, a a quick update uh uh coach millie had her stitches removed this week <gasps> she did great the vet even said you know what she didn't even flinch so they're all out. Her leg looks great. She's, she's so feeling good. great. So boom, oh. uh, road to recovery. She's she's uh, really grateful for uh, all of your uh, uh, shout outs. <laughs> so there we go. We are uh, going to find out uh, what's going to happen uh, next week. Hopefully it'll be a run that we update you uh, oh, with. Boy. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you're doing. Hey, if you're participating hey, in Princess, uh, Princess Weekend, Weekend. Way to go, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Awesome. A uh, little bit of FOMO, you know, because it, it looks really, really great. But congrats to, to you. And uh, look forward to uh, seeing all the videos uh, about uh, the, this weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, it just looks like a lot of fun. I mean, because it, it is a lot of fun. Yeah. Because it is always <laughs> an adventure with you. We'll see you next week.